What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, we are busy smashing our way through Prussian territory and we have this force to the north of Jude Abbott, who we are going to intercept, but I don't know if it's going to be a river battle or not. We'll have to wait and see. We do have a couple of our units are, are a bit knackered, but we should have more than enough to destroy them should they attempt to cross. So let's see what happens. If it's not a river battle, then it might be a bit dodgy. We might have to be a bit more careful. Um, but I think it's worth doing just because we can't really let full stacks of Prussian troops wander around um, our territories unmolested. We must engage them whenever we can. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's going to be a river, river battle. It might could well not be one. Ooh, it is one. Good. Right. So my gunners... Okay, one of you I am going to use to cover the breach because we do have a bit of a potentially an ammunition problem. So let's take our strongest units to cover that. We still need some units to cover the bridge. Between them they should do it. We can probably have one unit well we can have one unit quick climb here and another unit can deploy more in the middle and with quick climb can actually cover the bridge and the crossing. Maybe that's the that's the better call. Keep them both in the middle. Interesting. Let's group all of our cavalry, what's left of it on the left. To be honest, put our light infantry over here as well. These guns and limber engage engage targets as and when. So then over here we need to get I mean you guys firing may as well fire shrapnel shot. some marines to hold firm by the gate. You guys dropping quick limes. Let's take you guys and hit cavalry first. Because they're the ones that can really screw things up. So my artillery back here, they're just focusing on Doing counter battery, then when that's completed, they can start firing shrapnel shot. No, they won't. They're going to still fire round shot. So start attacking some units coming in. Let's get one of these units to start dropping quick climb in front of the breach, not necessarily on it. Let's hold fire. I mean, this unit's going to get utterly smashed. Fortunately, no one's going to... Well, some of them are going to try cross the bridge here. At least my light infantry... Well, if they charge my light infantry, they should at least come a cropper against this, against the uh, stakes. Oh, they're crossing in force. General's bodyguard and the 12th Regiment of Dragoons. Go on, kill their general, shoot him off of his horse. Gunners engage the Swiss pikemen that are attempting to cross. You men form square. Oh. Okay, form lines. They've actually they they charged just to dismount. Hmm, they don't want to actually cross. I mean, I said I, I said I might have an ammunition problem, but realistically, I'm not going to. Engage the Swiss Grenadiers. A great quick climb hit there. As the shrapnel shot booms in and kills a whole bunch more. General's bodyguard is coming back in. Regiment of Force is crossing over here, so our light infantry should engage first.
if they can get it together and cross. I don't, I'm not sure if they will. Another volley of fire leveled at the general's bodyguard, who's been cut down to 21 men. Let's make sure the shrapnel shots are aiming at the correct units. Yeah, you're not going to stand for that. Have you reloaded? Yeah, they've reloaded, all right. Shrapnel shot coming in. Misfire, too high. Ah, they didn't do so well there. Yeah, you can run into my stakes. Charge my pikemen forward. It's another, oh, it's the same unit. Yeah, I was pretty confident that the stakes would do enough. Canister shot attack ground instead. Because that's the thing with shrapnel shot is that it can be a bit funky. A close range canister shot is more dependable. Still, I don't really think there's a lot they can do to uh, cross over this part of the river. There we go, they've both fallen. Artillery just shoot the militia back there. If the quicklime shot lands now, that would be devastating. So let's reload our canister shot, because I don't think the howitzer is going to be done in time. So reload canister. It's a, a large mass of Prussian troops coming in. But the volley fire that's going to come in is going to be significant. Kind of shots coming in as well. Come on, you men. Pour fire into those Prussian devils. They've stormed over in force. Now they must be shown the error of their ways. Oh, God! <laughs> Classic. Sorry, regiment of foot. You're fine. Engage the 21st Regiment. Everyone's going to have a grand old time. Are those guys still... Oh, they are still firing their guns. You men, engage the 1st Regiment there. Those guys aren't going to be around for very long because they're going to get shot in the rear. From these chaps. Yeah. Oh, and you're also going to get hit by this unit. No, he routed. Well, they've routed. Let's just take these units. Redeploy them. Get these marines involved. There we go. So they think they're getting some good shots off. Canister shot coming in. Some good volleys. Again, it's another push from the brave Prussians. However, they will likely fall into the river and fall quickly. I'm coming in. Hit that unit of militia. You guys hit that unit of Swiss pikes. Well, those guys are all going to rout before they get here anyway. Oh, now they formed square. Brave souls. Blast them with canister shot. They're well within range. Yep, the canister shots came in. But look at them all just... It's a massive block of men. And there's... I mean, they just can't cross. They just can't. They don't have the... They don't have the... Uh, the momentum to make that sort of a crossing. No, not many armies can, to be honest. I mean, they've got... Well, they got roughly, like, four units. It's worth of muskets pouring fire into them. Plus round shot. Well, plus, um... 12-pounders dropping canister shot on them. Like, what can they do? Keep in blast that militia unit at point blank. Blasting holes into their line. The third regiment they've got over here, steady. 
although they are superior line infantry and they've been cut down to less than half size. Fire their volley and they're off. Okay, I might speed up time now. Because the majority of... The majority of things have happened. Let's try shrapnel shot the Swiss pikes. Try quick lime them. Actually, let's focus on shrapnel shotting the general's bodyguard because it's just flitting around. There we go. The, the enemy field artillery has been destroyed. Shrapnel shot the general. Quick lime the Swiss pikes. Got another. We've got another member of his staff. We can focus on this unit, which is actually getting away with not very many casualties. Although that looks like they're fixing to cross. There you go. The shrapnel shot took care of them. Hurrah! So Jude Abbott repelled a Prussian force and done some really good damage to them. Forever protecting the road to Munich. They fall back to the Breslau garrison, which is pretty interesting. Do have a couple of units pushing around our flanks, which are a bit dodgy. I'm sure the Ottomans aren't going to give us any uh, any quarter either. There's one army that's ripe for the attack. Well, we've taken... Ooh, do I want to... Yeah. No. No. I'm happy with... I'm okay with them tearing it down. Ah, oh, these guys are going to knock out all of my ships, no doubt. I mean, I do have a fleet, which they're going to, which they're going to uh, avoid. I may as well fight, to be honest. There's no point not. These are all fifth rates, after all. Oh, they do look a bit... They have to make some real choices about what, uh, how well they cover all these areas. Because I've still got plenty of ships all over the place. Blub, 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 blub. Nah, we can replace all those ships. Much easier than you can, Ottomans, because we control the Straits of Gibraltar. Yeah, more troops massing in the east. Yeah, they're not going to let us have that territory too easily. Nevertheless, we will not give up. Uh, no, I'm not going to give you 110,000 for an alliance. It would have been, been, inter been interesting, but I don't want to give you that amount of money. I'd rather have it. So Denmark's jumped in to take some of the trade zones, which is a bit frustrating, but there we are. Denmark will soon be for the chop as well. And the Greeks, they've put forward a quite a significant fleet of ships. However, it remains to be seen how uh, effective they actually are in combat, especially when they're only one province big. So let's hop over to the East Indies. Just send this fleet just to auto that Ottoman one. A handful of first rates. I'll probably do a load of damage to us. Good God. Yeah, doesn't matter. Ready. Bring them into our service. I cannot... So you ships make your way back to London. We can send Jasper Hartley and his fleet to go secure the West Indies in their place. We can send just a great big block of fifth rates out there to replace the ones that were just destroyed. There we go. So we've not got two fleets here, really, in England, which you don't necessarily need. If you're recruiting two second rates, you can only really have one. But then again, you do have a fourth rate, so Aurora is going to sail down here to catch up with Jasper. A fleet up here with HMS Royal George. Let's build... Let's not build that many, you only need to build one more. 
third rate and then your fleet is ready you can send these fifths over to the East Indies as well in terms of construction New Andalusia upgrade this let's upgrade a selection of ports upgrade this industrial building Wurttemberg is fortified. Montreal's got one. Oh, Nadges. Well, there we go. I've accidentally set back Montreal's efforts. Accidentally dismantling it. Accidentally cancelling it. Seems like it should be a bit. It's a bit easy to do that. A bit too easy. So we've got. Duh, 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 duh. Yorktown upgrade the port. Upgrade. Building, upgrade the palatial estate, upgrade the iron workshops. A huge amount of these are actually pretty top tier already, which is nice to see. We can really get our economy firing on all cylinders. There we go, right, so in Europe we have this force to the north, Robin Azure, Aguerre, Aguerre, one or the other, he is going to head over to Prague, Kevin McDowell, what, why the green jacket, it's got a broken thumb now, oh well. So you men, I'm not sure, you're George Wade, you're not a city-taking army. You've got a large component of your force of Fusiliers, and they don't, they're do not they not good for attacking, um, attacking forts. So you're going to go and siege Breslau, and hold the siege. You're going to actually just take some time. This is our named force up here, again with more green jackets. They are going to go over there and take... Hit Gdansk. I want to make sure Jude Abbott is reinforcing the way he needs to be. Württemberg have rebelled. So let's hit this force with Mark Cochrane's army. I'll take everyone except my artillery. There we go. Deliver the killing blow. There we go. Make sure you fellas are replenishing. has kind of interfered with my plans there. So I might mark Andrew Hardy, you men replenish and advance to Verona, because that means you can cover this pass as well as the passage west. We've taken, well, we took Rome in a bloodless attack. So we will likely want to send Hamish Boyle forward to hit this, this uh, Ottoman force that's currently embarked or has camped out in one of our towns to help clear out the peninsula there we go we can continue our push we, we don't i probably don't want to squeeze venice yet not when there's a bunch of uh, ottoman troops to the south if i didn't remove mark cochran's army i could have potentially um block, uh, blockaded venice put another army on the bridge and then engage in a river battle but oh uh, well so my field artillery is going to go out onto the extreme left these howitzers are going to go up on the hill firing over the heads of our highland brigade who will be tasked with clearing the high ground and I could put a unit of three infantry on their right flank and then on the left we have Quite a selection of other regiments to clear out the lower ground or the flat ground with the Rogers Rangers providing skirmishing fire on the flank with our general in the center. Highlanders storm up because that puts you in a. Oh, I stole one of my infantry units from over here, that's okay. Let's 
take this infantry on the lower ground. Sweep around from the left. My field artillery just engage their cavalry to the rear. Our howitzers have knocked out one regiment of foot artillery. Yeah, let's continue to fire. Quick climb is quite good for clearing up... Um, clearing fortifications because obviously it's got the area of effect rather than relying on direct impacts you men push up good stuff lots of their forces cavalry so not a huge problem my highlanders can clear out their artillery so much so I might actually just retarget some of my howitzers because we don't they're not going to be as critical to clear out the, their artillery. So you guys try and advance up like so. It's an awful long way to go, but the sooner you start, the sooner you'll finish. So these howitzers will be within artillery range. Lots of cavalry pushing the left, so you men have a slightly shorter route. Another unit of artillery knocked out. Advance down the hill. Cavalry deploy into squares. Or infantry deploy into squares. Mountainism of. Oh, they dismounted. Silly billies. You might get charged anyway. Although it looks like they are just going to skirmish us. So push my skirmishes up and push my infantry up. It is just the unit of Zamandari horsemen. That Janus unit got wiped out by Quicklime. That Nizam unit is upset from the fire, but they're not destroyed. There we go. Even advance. This flank advance. Push my general up. The infantry have been knocked out, so let's do some dynamic retargeting the artillery landing lots of shots home against the cavalry here Ooh, okay what are you you men pivot protect the flank we're too close for their quick climb so now we can start to combine our forces together a bit you men drop into square because they're coming for you. The Sipahi can't make up their mind about who they want to go for. Those Zimandari horsemen are going down quickly, so I'm hoping they break so we can pivot this line. Who's that at the back? A unit of cavalry that's returned. It's a unit of howitzers that are trying to come back. Switch all my my howitzers to round shot. There we go. Push up the lines. I've very, very nicely bumped into that square formation there, inviting some lovely fire from the flank. See you men form a square because the Zipahi are coming. They're coming to get you. 
It's a unit of mounted Nizam that's getting shot to pieces. Oh, he man didn't get to fire off a, a delicious musketry. Oh, there are those horsemen. You men are done for. Field artillery ceasefire. Rogers Rangers are done for. Run over this way. Run towards the square. That's your only chance. Yeah, you form square. How it's a fire is upsetting. My infantry. More cavalry coming in. Come on, Rogers Rangers. Get into the square. You guys fire it well off. You've bumped into them, so you can now form square. You're about to bump into them, so form square. You guys push up and start to threaten these Azar units. How it's all engaged. That unit of cavalry, although they're routing. You men fire it well now. Do you engage the general's bodyguard? looks like you are and that unit of horsemen's routed so we can reform our line as planned uh oh again within range of the 23rd knocked a few of them down the left flank is nearly crushed come on deploy the way i want you to General's bodyguard's hiding now. These are Zars. I'm oh, the Hey Dut Irregulars, sorry. These are no regular Zars. These are Irregulars. Hit them with hit them with um, cavalry fire, Caesar artillery fire, because the forty third are going to be ready to open up against you, chaps. And I do not think you will like it. Yep, you might kill a few of mine, but there's plenty more of us. Not so many of you, and we've got massed musketry. General's been killed. Excellent. Excellent. There we go. So this northern, well this is central Italian industrial town has been secured. They can be repaired and get production up and running once more. So we've got a few, quite a few units trapped actually in Italy. Well, sort of trapped. You can build the iron workshops and Hamish boil you men replenish. So you are replenishing after your bloodless capture of Naples. You're holding fire, because yeah, if I did have this force back down here, I could besiege Venice and put one army put on the bridge and hopefully trick these guys into a river battle. They may try and escape through Venice, and if they do, that's their prerogative. But we are on our way through that part of the world as it is. Lucian Burgess and our named force. Let's go and secure. Well, if we take Gdansk, we will then now have a coherent front line. So let's take Lucian Burgess with our named force, and go and take Gdansk. Yeah, I don't think... Well, once we link our fronts together, then we can have a more coherent offensive put together. I mean, we've got plenty of fighting to go in this turn still, because we've obviously got uh, most of the... most of the fighting in the East to do. North Africa still needs to be fought over. So let's deploy our heavy artillery to the rear. Heavy horse howitzers a bit further up, but slightly off axis. Let's get all our named troops together in the center. We can get some of our, well, let's form 
some more of our not unnamed units on the left flank. Put some skirmishes out on either side. Let's put heavy cavalry on the right. Get um, other our other heavy. No, you guys, de you are deployed. This heavy cavalry and Charlie's Scots Greys on the left. General in the center. Highlanders follow the line up. Pikes follow the line up. Send in our named companies first. Let my artillery choose to fire at whoever they choose. All of their art artillery is aiming at my pikes. Get my artillery to take this hill. The, the Fry Battalion Musketeer of Mayor Quintus Achilles. Wow. The Royal, the Royal Scots. Well, the Royal Welsh Grenadiers will have something to say about that. Although... It's a bit odd that they, they're actually... Massing right up in our grill like that. Halt and fire immediately. So the second Royal Welsh Grenadiers are trying to get... <laughs> yeah, like... What's that about? Okay, we've got advantage on the right flank, so let's push up. My Grenadiers and the Yorkshire's number one on the right flank. The 65th Regiment is going to get shot to bits in the flank. My sharpshooters just stop and fire where they are. This has become a real mess. Yeah, my Regiment of Infantry, understandably, is upset. Because those are line infantry guardsmen. So I'm trying to get my heavy cavalry through the gap. To hit the line infantry guards. Charlie's 16 light dragoons are engaging their line with musket fire. So the, le the, the right flank has been dominated. Artillery engage their dug-in troops to the rear. Cavalry's not so much of a bother. You men charge the enemies in the rear. Where's my... Oh, my heavy cavalry. I was like, where's my heavy cavalry? Like, oh, it's all over here, isn't it? Oh, horse guards. Charlie Scott's Grays doesn't like the sound of that. But it's what needs doing. Okay, let's get this regiment of foot in there against the, the line infantry. New units pivot. Yeah, sharpshooters, understandably, not happy. Highlanders, get in there. Some heavy cavalry still involved. The thing is, these are these are Prussian infantry. Oh yeah, so Charlie Scott's Greys, they're holding up a horse guard unit and a grenadier guard unit for my for my um, infantry to come smashing in. The rest of my line push up, all real aggressive. Let's get my heavy cavalry just to crop. Actually, no. Get my heavy cavalry to loop around. You may need to knock out the 50th regiment of foot here. I mean, the rest of their army should fall fairly quickly. Yeah, the light dragoons do not like this engagement. My Highlanders are in trying to hold on. 
if you men could knock out the remaining troops of the 50th, that would be great. My heavy cavalry is trying to get in. Rifles secure the town hall. My general's going to have to get involved. Don't break Charlie Scott's greys. Your general is here. As is more heavy cavalry. As are your friends and allies. Obviously my general's immediately dead. <laughs> ah, he hasn't done anything useful anyway. So Charlie Scott's greys, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? There you are. Get you out of here. Get the Swiss pikes over. Get this heavy cavalry out of action. I mean, the right flank has collapsed. They've all collapsed. There you go, my, my pikes are in to counter their heavy cavalry. They should fall fairly quickly now. Got a couple of units of heavy cavalry in there, a couple of units of melee infantry. Got a poor regiment of foot here, sparring with their grenadiers. Yeah, everyone else is done for. Don't worry, heavy cavalry. You guys have done enough. Good. Carabine, the 5th Horse Guard Regiment is upset. Charge on into the Grenadiers. Hey! There's bad guys. I mean... Pfft. How to just quick line my own guys? Because the people they're trying to shoot are out of range. Go on, Rifleman. You've got the range to pick it. The 7th Regiment. There we go. The Grenadiers are down. God, this was a bloody battle. Artillery engage that unit of garrison provincial line. They think they're brave, but they don't realise what they've got themselves into. Ooh, some great artillery shots straight into the centre. Go on, you men. So this is the first. First Royal Welsh and the Fusilier Regiment von Losberg. Two units that haven't experienced much calamity in this battle. Although Yorkshire's number one are struggling to scale a fence. Yeah, yeah, there goes the 7th Regiment. Bada bing, bada boom. So not without loss. Our named army has captured Gdansk. Heroic victory indeed. They require some rest and relaxation. And another general. So let's take... A, get a general from Charlie Scott's Greys. Because I did screw them over somewhat there. Curtis Patterson. Let's see how long you last. You're 31 years old and you are the governor of Gdansk. Let's build a light galley. Farm. Two happiness buildings seems overkill. You men. Okay, so you guys need to swap. Keep four regular troops out. Put four proper troops in there. You men. Well, question is, who do you hit? I don't want to move you guys, but I kind of have to. Move you men there to hit David Torber. I mean, that leaves the, the gap open for the Ottomans to come cruising in. You guys didn't really have a shot. Because you were quite depleted across many sectors. Your Majesty. Forwards for crown and country. And most of the time, there's not really a... Not a lot you can do. Forward. You can. Troops, so you men can move off to the Forward. west. Men. And Hector can come in 
hit this force, drive them south. Hopefully, you're going to come in and hit the Prussians and drive them west. You're going to have to hit the Ottomans there and drive them south. And obviously, we've got armies here that are making their way to the nearest port. For, for passage across to, over towards Cairo. Obviously here in Italy have already fought. You guys have already fought. You guys are sieging Siberia. Okay, so let's start left to right. You guys are going to go hit David Torba. Small Prussian force. Let's take him out. And then maybe the garrison at Corlin might move south to engage the other Prussian army and drive them back. Um, but we can't really ignore the fact that the Ottomans are pushing up on the right. I mean, the army that we're going to we are going to attack in this current um, offensive is actually fairly weak. It's a lot of not very good infantry, and they've got to cut some howitzers, so quick climb is a risk. But okay, let's take these forces. March in line, swore, well, sur surround and destroy. Skirmishers don't really have a role. Yeah, you've got lances, but they don't mean nothing. the end result is still going to be the surrounding of your forces. So yeah, you're going to charge a charging unit in the flank, but we're all going to get into position and then go blip, blip. And then these guys are going to put, continue their push up on the right flank. And my artillery pick certain Swiss units. Yeah, the lances are wavering already, and they're broken. So then these men can then reform back into line as the head of our formation here. These two units that are a bit further out on the flank can advance up like so. These three here can advance up like so. The cavalry can continue to push. Skirmishers can try and run around the flank. There we go. This force that hoped, that attempt, that wanted to try and do some sort of Sneaky raiding shenanigans will never get the opportunity. Hey, you guys charge my line. You're not allowed to do that. Go get him, Hussars, my heavy cavalry. Go after Le General. My general. Get him up here. That the 48 is a reg is a real target for my cavalry. Let's pick some new artillery targets, although it looks like they've suffered a complete collapse. You're taking out German bodyguard. We're not bothered about killing the general. We're more bothered about killing all of these guys. Yeah, the 48th came back, but I doubt they will stand in the face of concentrated musket fire. Yeah, hit the Swiss pikes, that's for darn sure. Get my hussars in here. Yeah, I doubt they will stand. Their morale was already compromised. Just keep storming up. You guys can engage the cavalry, the artillery there as much as you like. Get 
Well, that looks like they are trying to stick around. Come on, General, get into the mix. General's bodyguards come back to so get my artillery to focus fire on him. Not maximised our firepower here, but it is just against Swiss lines, so we're not really bothered. Against one one particular unit of Swiss line, we aren't bothered. Good. There goes the general's bodyguard. Cease artillery fire. You're hitting the guards. Ah, the enemy general's been killed by a stray cannonball. I mean, these guys are all going to be fire it well off now. Because you're going to take out the last members of that of the 9th Regiment of Foot. Come on, kill him! Kill him, he's right there. Good. They carry on with the Swiss line. You guys carry on taking them. There we go. Sweet. We just keep on re-verifying the targets. Well, that Swiss line unit's going to fall pretty rapidly. Try kill this Swiss pike unit here. See, I really rate pikemen, even in the era of guns. They're still pretty darn useful. Okay, they're dealt with. Go after the engineers. Come on, there aren't many engineers to knock out. One last engineer. Ah, and they must have either killed them or routed. Either way, that's a nice victory against the Prussians there. Oh, there we go. They've lost nearly 1,700 men. Back you go. By the left. Fast. A brave soldier and a happy drinker is Hadwin. Because then you guys can come out in relative safety and hit Sebastian Seidel. Draw in the remnants of that force back here. Because there's no one that can actually push on the capital. Well, call and quickly. We can destroy this force as well. Well, both these forces and secure the western, the western side of our eastern front. Which is now homogenous. Excellent, 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 excellent. And then we do still have troops near Königsberg as well to fight. So, yeah, we've got to uh, repel quite a major central powers attack in the east. But then again, what else can you do when you've lost your capital? So we don't care where their reinforcements are coming in. They are weak. We are strong. My dapper general is going to get involved here as well. Oh, we're getting one unit of reinforcements in. Hooray. Okay, so let's take you guys. Push up towards the town. These four units push up to about here. You guys push up to the high ground. Bring the cavalry with you. Here's the, here's the enemy reinforcements. What's left of it? Mostly cavalry with some broken infantry units. You fools. Let's speed up time. Looks like they are redeploying. We've got some infantry marching over on the left flank, but we're not worried about that. Okay, so our right flank has hit the town in good order. We've managed to route a unit of infantry already. A unit of artillery already, I should say. You may push the right flank of that unit that's dug in force them to displace 
The men in the centre. Let's take up firing positions on the high ground. And the rest of the formation does have to advance up the left flank. So my artillery did knock out the first regiment of horse artillery or the mounted troop artillery. It's not really a great position for that engineer unit. Yeah, they're getting the first shots off. Not a lot we can do about that. If they choose to charge us. Oh, good. See, our great thing about foot artillery is it's lobbing. They're lobbing shells up over the high ground. I mean, these are engineers. You don't want to do that. Gendarmerie, especially. Send our cavalry forward to deal with this first horse guard unit. See, our hussars go in first. Heavy cavalry run. Oh no, are they dismounting? Nope. My hussars are going in first to deal with any potential volley, because a carabino regiment. Enemy cavalry is not happy with the progress that they're making in the centre. Yet my engineer squares have held off, held them off fabulously as my infantry have piled volleys in on the right flank. Artillery crashing home. Yeah, it's the Moldendorf Dragoons done. The second lance says the 18th Regiment of Horse, the 4th Light Foot are also shattered. Okay, that's actually a bad, bad combat there. You guys push up like so. We're not so worried about the enemy infantry that feels the need to flee. Oh, no, the enemy cavalry, I mean. It's the enemy infantry we want to deal with. This whole this block, that's what we want the General's bodyguard to be placed to deal with. The General's bodyguard has been engaged with musket fire and is forced to rout. Death's Head Hussars are looking for targets. I think they found one in, this, in the, the shape of the 62nd. Send a regiment of horse against the Swiss Mountain Jaeger. Push up the Cuirassier. Oh, the Death's Head Hussars. Did they charge? Okay, they, yeah, they hit this infantry unit, but they kind of went straight through into this combat. Across the air to hit the 20th regiment of foot. I mean, I think it's safe to say that the bulk of these formations are going to go the same way. The 5th regiment is taking the hammering. Yeah, you got a good few of the Swiss Mountain Jaeger. Not enough, but a good number. Death's Head Hussars have broken. Pretty sure we're going to be okay in these fights here. Yeah, my general can try and do as much damage as possible. There, you men. Ceasefire. You men, ceasefire. How? Uh, field artillery, ceasefire. Yeah, they're not going to do a huge amount of damage to this infantry unit because they are so close to the border, but. They can do some. Go after the Grenadiers, actually. That unit. You men go after that regiment of foot. Infantry cease fire. Let's 
So now we're in the unenviable position of having plenty of... Plenty of cavalry. A reasonable number of targets, but they're all so close to the edge of the map that we can't... We're not going to really be able to do much about it. Well, we're going to be able to kill these units for darn sure. There's not a lot they can do about those. quite sure where they're all going. Just take these men, knock out the Grenadiers, and then take everyone, and knock out the 40th Regiment, and there we go. Nice. So that is a devastating blow dealt there. Yep, nice 3 to 1 exchange ratio. Back you devils go. So Harold take position in, the f in Fort Panamune. Panamune, Panamune. And rebuild your strength. We can pick up some more reinforcements. Need to check if Corland can handle it. Excellent. Because we have you. I would like. I would like to try and trick you into an attack because you've got. Oh my God, a good amount of artillery. So definitely make your way in. But we've got a good amount of cavalry. Well, we'll annihilate them if they attack, and then sweep our cavalry forward to mop up the remainder. Well, I think... Eh. So I want to... I think I want to... I want this to... I want to sit, try and see if we can fight a defensive battle here, which means the best course of action is to take Hector Norton and hit Vitebsk and push out this Ottoman force. But looking at the timer, because we're getting pretty close to the end of the episode, I think I'm going to call it and start the episode with this action. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Uh, for a couple of battles against the Ottomans. Cheers, everyone.